Hello and welcome to our latest video on design research and customer journey mapping. In this video, we'll be discussing how to prepare for a design research activity using customer journey mapping, which involves documenting and analyzing the steps and experiences that customers go through when interacting with a product, service, or brand. This method can be particularly useful for understanding the context in which a problem exists and identifying opportunities for innovation. So, how do you prepare for a customer journey mapping design research activity? Here are a few tips to get you started, define your research goals and objectives. Before you begin any design research activity, it's important to have a clear understanding of what you hope to achieve. What are you trying to learn? Who are you trying to understand? What problems are you trying to solve? By defining your research goals and objectives up front, you'll have a clear direction and focus for your research efforts. Identify your research participants. Who are the customers you need to understand in order to achieve your research goals? Consider factors such as demographics, expertise, and roles within the problem space. You may want to consider using a variety of research methods, such as interviews, focus groups, and surveys, to gather data from a diverse group of participants. Gather and organize your research materials. Depending on your research methods, you may need to gather a variety of materials, such as consent forms, questionnaires, and recording equipment. Make sure to have everything you need in order to conduct your research smoothly. Plan your research activities. Once you have your research goals, participants, and materials in place, it's time to plan your research activities. Consider factors such as timing, location, and logistics to ensure that your research runs smoothly and efficiently. For customer journey mapping, you'll need to plan for a series of observations and interactions with customers, so make sure to allocate enough time and resources for this. Prepare for analysis and synthesis. After you have collected your data, it's time to analyze and synthesize it to identify patterns, trends, and insights. Consider using tools such as affinity diagrams or mind maps to organize your data and identify key themes. By following these steps, you'll be well prepared to conduct a successful customer journey mapping design research activity. With a clear understanding of your research goals, participants, and methods, you'll be well equipped to gather valuable data and insights that will inform your design efforts. Here is an example of a customer journey map for patients who have a higher fall risk and are engaged in dual tasking. Pre-fall event, the patient is at home and engaging in a dual task, such as cooking dinner while also using their phone. Fall event, the patient loses their balance and falls, potentially causing injury. Immediate aftermath, the patient calls for help and receives assistance from a caregiver or emergency services. Emergency care, the patient is transported to the hospital and receives medical attention for any injuries sustained in the fall. Rehabilitation, the patient begins a rehabilitation program to regain strength and mobility, with the goal of reducing their fall risk in the future. Follow-up care, the patient receives follow-up care from the primary care provider and any necessary specialists, such as a physical therapist or geriatrician. Ongoing care, the patient continues to engage in fall prevention activities, such as balance exercises and medication management, to reduce their risk of future falls. This customer journey map illustrates the various stages that patients with a higher fall risk may experience after a fall event. By understanding the context in which falls occur and the needs of these patients, healthcare professionals can design interventions and strategies to reduce the risk of future falls and improve patient outcomes. There are several opportunities that can be identified through a customer journey map of elderly people with a higher falling risk and who are engaged in dual tasking. Identify opportunities for fall prevention education and training. By understanding the context in which falls occur and the tasks that elderly people are engaged in at the time of a fall, healthcare professionals can design fall prevention education and training programs that address specific risk factors and behaviors. Develop interventions to reduce fall risk. By analyzing the customer journey map and identifying key points at which fall risk is highest, healthcare professionals can design interventions to reduce fall risk, such as medication management programs or balance exercises. Improve communication and coordination of care. A customer journey map can help to identify points at which communication and coordination of care break down and lead to suboptimal outcomes. By improving communication and coordination among caregivers and healthcare providers, it may be possible to reduce the risk of falls and improve patient outcomes. Here are a few quotes that elderly people who have a higher falling risk and are engaged in dual tasking might say. I feel like I have to rush to get things done and I don't always have time to be careful. I'm worried about falling, but I don't want to give up the activities that I enjoy. 
I feel like my medications are always changing and it's hard to keep track of them all. I don't always understand what my doctors are telling me, and I worry about taking the wrong medication or not taking it correctly. I feel like I'm always juggling a million things at once and I can't afford to take a break. By understanding the thoughts and concerns of elderly people who have a higher falling risk and are engaged in dual tasking, healthcare professionals can design interventions and strategies that address their specific needs and concerns. This may involve providing education and training on fall prevention strategies, developing interventions to reduce fall risk, and improving communication and coordination of care. By addressing these issues, it may be possible to reduce the risk of falls and improve patient outcomes for this population. We hope you found this video on design research and customer journey mapping to be helpful. For more information on these topics, be sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.